Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is your boy James from What's Your Forte. And as y'all can see, I'm up in the whip. And as promised, and as I mentioned in my last video, I'm on the way to Euro Empire because today is Dino Day. So Euro Empire is holding the Toys for Tots with Dino Day with Waxall Coffee Cruisers, which is another group here in town. So um, we're going to be doing it for a good cause, raising toys uh, for the kids that may be less fortunate. Um, and then also getting some dino numbers in. So today I'm gonna be leading off the event for Euro Empire. Gonna be putting the G80 on the dyno. So um, from the last time I got the car dyno, the only thing that's changed on the car is downpipes. So I'm curious to see how much power I'm gonna put down today, man. So if you guys, matter of fact, comment down below right now. How much power you guys think I'm gonna put down today? Comment down below to help you guys out. Um, last time I dyno was 566. And I think 559 or something like that. Um, I'll put the dyno graph up right now so you guys can see it. But um, so how much you guys think I'm a game with just adding the downpipes? Now, like I said, this I don't have like a flash tune or anything like that. Um, the race chip isn't it isn't a specified tune for downpipes, but just putting downpipes on, um, you know, a lot of people still have seen gains. So we're gonna see if it if I gain anything. I'm thinking. You know, I want to say I think I'll gain some power in the mid range, maybe in the lower end um, on the dyno graph. I don't know if my peak numbers will be that different, um, but I do think I'll gain some power in the mid and lower range. Um, so we'll see today once we get on the dyno, get it strapped in, lead off the event. It's going to be a good day, man. Y'all make sure y'all stay tuned. It's going to be epic. All right, let's get it. guys so i hope y'all enjoyed those clips um first off special thanks to euro empire they held a great event dino day was a success we got tons of toys for the kids that are less fortunate um and the toys for tots toy drive was a success met a lot of cool people um saw a lot of you know there was a lot of there's like um what two other g80 showed up and also a g82 m4 showed up so um you know definitely check out my instagram i'll be posting those pics all week um, in the next couple of days, I've, uh, I've already posted some, but I got some more coming where we kind of all lined up or whatever. So, um, very cool to see a lot of different, um, G80 show up and most of them were Brooklyn gray. So it's kind of funny seeing a bunch of Brooklyn gray, um, G G8X cars all in one spot, man. Cause you don't really see a lot of them on the road. So having them all in one spot was kind of cool. Um, the event was a success. A lot of cars, dynos. Um, I think the most power put down was by a, um, I believe it was a Mustang. I believe it was a Pro Charge Mustang. I think, I think he put down in this. He put down right around seven, seven fifteen or something like that. It was something crazy, some crazy numbers. So a lot of a lot of nice cars, a lot of big power put down, man. But it was definitely a good event. Um, but let's go ahead and get to what you guys came here for, the dyno numbers on the downpipes. So we did dyno um the car and uh yeah we actually dropped a little bit in power and torque now i think uh, i'll be posting the graph up right now and i'm just gonna be talking to it so first you know you guys are seeing the graph on your screen right now and you see you're looking at the peak numbers everything looks to be down across the board as far as the peak numbers are concerned if you take a deeper dive into the actual graph you can kind of see up to about 3,400 um, RPM. Um, you can see the actual power and torque is a little bit higher than it was, um, you know, than it was with the stock down pipes. Then right up from that point on, I say almost 35 all the way to about 48, 
you know, previously it was higher, but you see it was kind of spiky and not smooth. Um, if you look at the torque, the torque peaks, then it drops down, then peaks again, then drops all the way down. Um, it's kind of like a heartbeat line, so to speak. I like to call it. Um, same thing with the power. Power goes up, goes back down, goes up, goes back down. Um, and then, like I said, you get around almost close to 5,000 um, RPM. And the actual uh, power dip below where the, where the downpipe is now. Um, then it kind of goes about the same. And then from about almost 55,000 all the way to red line, um, the stock downpipe, you can see that dyno graph is all over the place. It kind of peaks up. Then it takes a big nasty dip around 6K. Um, and then it goes back up and kind of levels back out and just kind of goes up and down all the way to red line. Um, Whereas if you look at the graph, the boulder line, which is the graph with the downpipe, it's a smooth line. The torque curve is nice and flat. Um, power goes all the way up to red line. Um, and it's a nice smooth line, which is really what you look for. And that's the reason why, if y'all seen my previous video, as I did the install, did the sound clips, I was saying that the car feels better. It feels a lot smoother. It feels, it feels a little stronger. But it could just be the smoothness of it. I don't have a lot of that jerkiness, so I don't have a lot of that uneasiness as you saw on the dyno graph before. Yeah, that dyno makes more power, but it's not as smooth. Sometimes the numbers don't say, say everything. Um, I did send this information over to Race Chip. Um, they stated that with me adding an intake and not having a downpipe, um, they probably uh, want me to do some logs. Um, so I'm going to be planning to do some logs here soon. Uh, probably today. I may go out today after my work um, and then get some logs in um, and then see how that's going to go. Get those logs in, send that information over. And then he said he probably can send me a revised map. So I'm be I'm definitely going to be doing that. So y'all definitely stay tuned for that. I'm definitely going to try to get a revised map, do some logs, send that data over so they can send me, send that out to me. Um, and then we can see what we can make with that and see how that feels. But um, as it sits right now, um, 558. 537 is where I'm at right now, which is I know y'all looking at that torque like that's a big drop in torque But I think if you're looking at the graph, it's only that big drop is Supposedly right around that little the peak between 34 what's that 34 and 44 is where that peak torque was and You see it's kind of it goes up dips again and goes back up and then dips again so I'd rather have the smooth line, smooth power, smooth transition than all these little peaky up and downs. And it's inconsistent. And I think some of it just dealing with the race chip is just a little inconsistent. As you guys know, the race chip is not a tune. Um, and neither does JB4. Uh, they're not tunes. They're piggybacks. They're kind of like boost controllers. They're looking at different parameters and sending, I guess you could say, false signals to the car to make it think that it's not producing enough boost when it really is. So it's just piggybacks. Um, and you're going to get those inconsistencies. That's one thing where I always say tune is greater than any piggyback. Um, but, you know, right now we're not able to really tune these very easily at this point. You, know, you have to see a DME, the Femto, they have to unlock before you can do any of that. So until we have an OBD flash unlock um, situation, you know, this is kind of what we have to deal with, you know, if you want to add more power over stock. So, you know, piggybacks are going to be a little inconsistent. And that's kind of what we're seeing here. But um, all in all. I think the car feels good. It feels good when I drive it. Um, as you see, the dyno graph super smooth. And um, yeah, man, we're going to get those logs in and we're going to see if we can make some more um, power um, after we send the logs in. So um, very, very interesting. I will say I was a little disappointed a little bit just to be perfectly, fully transparent. You guys, I was thinking I was going to be, you know, based on the last numbers, I think I was going to be like around 570, you know, 580. Uh, I thought it was just going to keep gaining, but um, the piggyback, I don't think the piggyback knows what to do with all this additional airflow that's getting. So, you know, I think that's what we're fighting against. So, so I'm going to get those logs in, see what's going on, send those over to race chip, see what they come back with, man. So the journey continues, man, but that's what I'm doing this for. So you guys can learn and you guys can know what you need to do in case you want to uh, follow this path or do something similar. You kind of know what you need to do at this point. So all in all, Downpipes sound good. They fit good, and I do recommend them. It's just you just have to be realistic, you know, right now with what we have available, and especially in the states. So that's gonna be today's video. Hope you guys liked it. 
um please hit that like button it's definitely helping me out um definitely getting my videos out there so you guys can see it and also helps me out in the algorithm and all that craziness that goes on in the youtube world man but um i definitely appreciate y'all watching and uh yeah man stay tuned man we're getting those logs done and we're gonna see if we can make some more power on the g80 all right so that's gonna be today's video and i'll holler at you guys later peace